Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 2, Part D, Subpart 2, and Subpart 3. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now we are going to see the structure of Section 2, Part D. In Section 2, Part D. Subpart 1, Subpart 2, Subpart 3. Then there are non-mandatory and mandatory appendices. Subpart 1 is mechanical properties. Subpart 2 is physical property. Subpart 3 is the external pressure calculation charts. These are the three subparts. Then there is mandatory and non-mandatory appendices. In subpart 2, we have physical properties like thermal expansion, thermal conductivity, diffusivity, modulus of elasticity, density, poisons ratio, all these physical properties you will be able to find in subpart 2. Okay. So this may be required many times when we have to calculate thermal expansion or we need density, then we have to follow these tables. Okay. Now, subpart 3 which talks about external pressure calculations. When we do, we need to refer certain graphs, okay? Like figure G, which is, we call it as a geometrical chart because it depends upon the geometry of the shell, okay? So if you see what we refer in that graph factor, uh, the geometrical chart G is the two ratio, L by D and D naught by T. D naught is outside diameter divided by thickness. So based on these terms, we try to find out factor A. Okay. With factor A, we go to material chart. Like we saw for some material, CS1 will be the material chart. For SA516, it is CS2. So after we have factor A, we'll go to CS2. If my material of construction is SA516, and then I'll be able to find factor B. Factor B will help us to derive what is the maximum allowable pressure because okay, that is the simple philosophy. Now, when we are going to calculate the thickness, we will see that in detail how we are going to do it. Okay. So, subpart 3 is about external pressure calculation for shell. Okay. 